Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I wanted to talk about that number one way and actually the only way that you can use to manifest anything that you're desiring. So that includes uh, your relationships, your career, wealth, abundance, your health, any area actually. So I have my notes ready over here and I would be taking you through all the points and hopefully it resonates with you. So before moving ahead, don't forget to subscribe for more such content. I am working on creating more shorter form videos to uncomplicate manifestation, the concepts around it, the confusing terms people are struggling with. So do like, share and comment for more engagement. So the number one step and the only step you need to do to manifest anything that you're looking for, anything you're looking to create in your physical reality, anything you're desiring at all is going to the end. And you would have heard about it a lot of times before. So going straight to the end, uh, a lot of similar sentences that you've heard must be living in the wish fulfill, living in the end result, um, identifying with the version that has your desire. That means the same thing. Because when you're identifying with that version who has the desire, you are living in the end of having it. So how can you go to the end straight away? Uh, it sounds simple. I know it's uh, much easier said than done. But uh, you can break it down into steps to understand it in a more clear manner. And I'll take you through those steps in this video. So the first thing is to get clear on what do you want. What are you wishing to create? What are you desiring? Um, don't be vague about it. Uh, it's not that being vague will not get you the results. It might get you the results. But when you're very specific about what you want, when you're very clear about what you're looking for, and it does not hurt to get into the details. Actually, when you're getting into the details of something you wish to create, it just amplifies your excitement. It amplifies your happiness and all the feelings related to it. So get as specific as you wish to. Um, if it's in regards with a specific person or a new relationship, then get very specific about what you're wanting to create. Um, what does that person look like? You can be very specific about the physical looks, about their characteristics, about their nature. Um, how are they as a person? Uh, how are they um, when they're outside in the world? How do they walk? How do they talk? How do they treat people? Uh, how is their heart? How do they make you feel? So be very specific. Whatever requirements you have, there's nothing which is too much for you to manifest and you can get exactly what you are looking for. Um, if you have high standards, if you don't have high standards, it does not really matter. Uh, just become very specific in what you're looking for in terms of the specific person and in terms of the relationship. And third is in terms of who you would be in that relationship, what your identity would look like. How would you feel, believe and think? So uh, get very clear on what you're wanting to create. That is the first step. So now when you have uh, a clear idea on the first step of what you're wanting to create, you can move on to the second step of going straight to the end. Now, what does it mean when you say go straight to the end or live in the wish fulfilled, live in the end result? Okay, so basically it's uh, going to be a feeling of knowing it. And uh, uh, I would try to explain it to the best of my capabilities. But uh, uh, people out there who are already on the manifestation journeys and have been uh, doing it successfully would resonate with what I'm trying to say. So it's that knowing. Once you uh, really understand how manifestation works, that your outer reality is a reflection of what's going on inside you, your internal state, your self-concept, your beliefs, feelings and emotions, everything happening inside this body, this mind, and inside your heart and emotions is what is reflecting outside, right? So uh, that knowing, uh, knowing that it's going to happen. Once you're clear on the desire, that knowing of, yes, it's coming soon. Yes, it's going to happen. Yes, this is going to be mine. Yes, I'm ready to receive it. It's that knowing. And when you are in that knowing of it's already happened or it's going to happen, that is being in the uh, end result of having it or going to have it soon. Uh, it's, it's basically cultivating that experience inside you cultivating that inner knowing that yes you have your desire yes your desire is already yours and uh, it may sound uh, 
a bit superficial <laughs> to uh, some people who might be struggling with a bit of resistance and uh, when you're trying to go in that end result it might not be feeling good because uh, it's instead bringing up some kind of anxiety or opposing thoughts or inner thoughts in your mind that no this is not here this is not happened then how are you trying to get into the state of mind that it's happened so i'll come to that later on uh, in a bit i'll also let you know why resistance takes place and how you can uh, deal with it so coming back to uh, cultivating that experience within you uh, having those kind of thoughts and those kind of emotions and feelings that yes you have it yes you have it it's uh, it can be an imaginal scene you are creating and visiting it could be inner conversations you are having uh, it could be scripting so those uh, definitely techniques can come into um, the picture that time and assist you with that but uh, that experience of uh, knowing that it's coming or you know um, you already have it kind of puts you in that relaxed state it puts you in that relaxed state it puts you in that calm state where there's no rush there's no urgency you're so in tune with your inner world and inner experience uh, that it starts becoming the truth right and you keep visiting that truth that experience again and again um, eventually it has no other option but it has to show up in your physical world because your physical world is a manifestation of your internal state that's the foundation of manifestation right um, that's manifestation summarized in one sentence um, it's it's a very very simple thing and it's so simple that we tend to complicate it um, in the process of trying to learn it and master it so it's a really simple thing uh, just saturate your inner world so much with that experience with those feelings with that belief and faith that yes it's coming yes it's coming and the more you tell that to yourself internally the more you tell that to your mind that's what you're feeding your mind and your mind is what you feed it so eventually with persistence and practice your mind your heart everything will start feeling it and that is when it will start showing up in your outer reality when you start shifting your internal world and start being in that experience of having your desire uh, it will show up eventually in your reality and when you start tuning into your inner world so much that it starts feeling real to you the 3d will start stop bothering you uh, it will become less and less relevant as the days pass by so in the beginning the 3d might be something which you are um, peeping into and trying to see your result trying to see if it's happening trying to see if something is changing um, but as in when you start understanding that all you have to do is turn within and experience it within it does not matter if it's taking place outside or not yet uh, eventually it is going to show up and that is the belief you have to create within you because uh, it's true <laughs> okay so it does not matter it will stop bothering you the 3d will stop phasing you out uh, once you know how to connect with your inner world and experience that desire here uh, then you would not be bothered at all you will not be questioning the 3d you will not be questioning when is it coming up you will not be questioning that i don't see any change i don't see anything happening outside where is it so uh, that is the difference and that is a point where you would be able to understand very clearly whether you are living in the end in the correct way or not so this is the correct way once you start feeling that need of checking the 3d fading away going away you can be happy and you know that yes now i am so in tune with my inner world that whenever i have to visit my experience i have to go inside i have to tune within and the more i visit that experience within me uh, day after day multiple times a day it has no other option but to show up in my physical reality how it's going to show up when it's going to show up is not your job to uh, think about to care about and that's such a load off right try to think it about uh, try to think about it this way that it's such a load off that you don't really have to get into the details of how it's happening um, when is it coming how will it come uh, it's fun to think about it sometimes it's fun that what what if it happens this way what if i meet this person this way what if we bump into each other over there how will it be um, it's fun to think about it and definitely you can entertain those kind of things in your mind if uh, you wish to 
and you can be very specific about it as i mentioned um, if you can be specific about the type of person you're looking for you can also be specific about how you want to meet that person but uh, uh, i i kind of personally uh, don't like thinking about the how and when because that kind of leaves a mystery a magical mystery in the manifestation process and they say right that uh, your manifestation will come so naturally to you and in ways you couldn't have imagined so that whole sentence of it can come to you in ways you can't even imagine just creates that excitement and motivation in me so i just like to leave that blank and um, uh, just to see how it's actually going to happen so it's not your job to worry about how and when if you want to decide that good enough it's your manifestation you can do it but you don't have to your only work is to experience that desire within you keep experiencing it within live in the end result live in the wish fulfilled now i want to discuss a bit about resistance so uh, uh, definitely as i mentioned before it's easier said than done and uh, you might be feeling it so easy when they've said that just go to the end just this is that experience inside you just keep doing that but what about the resistance that's coming up when you're trying to visit that experience when you're trying to uh, think to yourself that you know it's coming it's mine it's going to happen so what is resistance actually resistance is something you feel inside you uh, when you're trying to um, visualize something affirm something get into a new identity get into a new knowing and you feel this um, rejection inside you so if you're affirming something if you're visualizing something uh, this feeling of anxiety or this feeling of your chest tightening and that that something is fighting within you with that affirmation or with that visual scene it's fighting against it it's the refusal to believe that affirmation or the refusal to believe that visual scene uh, or that any of this can happen or will happen right so that is what resistance is and why does resistance come up uh, so if you have a certain way of thinking if you have set beliefs around say relationships if you have set beliefs around men relationships that this is how it is this is uh, uh, all men are trash <laughs> um uh, that's just an example um or i i never get uh, into a great relationship great relationships are just not for me um i never get a person who truly commits to me who truly claims me so if you have those kind of beliefs already set within you um and they have been set in you say for past few months and especially if it's uh, for past few years based on your previous experiences then if you try to op- uh, affirm or visualize something that is opposite of that because your mind is used to thinking this way right it, it the beliefs are already there and that drives these thoughts and emotions for you that uh, i will never be committed to or i will never be claimed so when you are thinking something which is new to your mind which is new which it's not used to experiencing or thinking then that resistance will come up it will come up uh because it's something new right it's something you don't really visit often you don't visit that experience often the dominant thoughts are around um uh, i don't get committed i don't get claimed i don't really um have great relationships with men so that's why resistance comes up okay and it's it's a very normal thing so you don't really have to worry about it it's a very very normal thing uh even if you have uh, positive beliefs around something but you're shifting from one set of positive beliefs to another set of positive beliefs so it's just not from negative to positive whenever you're making a shift that is different from what is set in your mind and in your emotions the resistance will come up so it's a very normal thing there are ways to uh, eliminate it there's a, there are ways to deal with it so don't worry if it's coming up just know inside you that okay it's it's natural it's normal resistance is coming up because this is not the way i usually think so i i don't have to be afraid of it it's fine it's normal it's coming up but i have ways i can deal with it and i have ways where i can remove it now here i want to touch upon one more point um, about believing or not to believe because this is also something that has a lot of different um, thoughts around in the manifestation community that should you believe um that something can happen for you or if i don't believe can it still manifest so a lot of people have different views on it uh, take what resonates with you uh, from my perspective uh, 
yes definitely you can still manifest if you don't have resistance around that subject even if you don't believe it so uh, hear me out um when people say that you don't have to believe to manifest something it's true you don't have to believe that it will happen to manifest something and i'll tell you why that is that will be around very specific things that are not a big deal to you that you do not have opposing thoughts about that you do not have resistance or core beliefs about uh manifesting a free cup of coffee you don't have to believe in it and be in that experience yes i'm getting that coffee yes someone is bringing that coffee i believe it someone has to get it to me um i believe i can i'm deserving of that coffee so you don't get into that state of mind for a cup of coffee that's because coffee is not a big deal in your life coffee will not bring up any kind of resistance it's 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 a very normal thing you don't keep it on the pedestal you don't have opposing thoughts about it you're not thinking the whole day when you don't receive that free coffee that i didn't get that free coffee when is it going to come where is it where is it right these are the type of things you do with money or specific person so you can uh, get um, you can manifest what you're desiring you can easily manifest it if it's something you have not put on this pedestal and it's not a big deal for you and you have no resistance around it you don't have any opposite beliefs um that are there for years and years within you right so yes there will be a category of things that you can manifest without believing now that category of things that you have a very very uh, core beliefs in your system based on your previous experiences uh that give you anxiety that bring up resistance for those things definitely without believing you might call it a limited belief but according to me belief fuels it that's why they say have faith have belief faith can move mountains so in those areas where you have resistance where you have that anxiety those beliefs you have to change definitely new beliefs and believing in the possibility of happening of it happening will bring it faster to you will bring it to you in a good way uh i wouldn't say that you would be able to manifest a specific person or a wealth abundance money if you don't believe you can have it if you don't believe you're deserving or worthy of it or if you don't even believe in the possibility of taking place right i mean yeah that's my perspective i do agree that you can manifest without believing but i think that's around the things that you don't have resistance around and you all you don't really focus much on it or pay much attention to it but the things that are really big for you and you tend to keep it on the pedestal uh and that tends to get uh, you into a resistance mode or anxiety i feel working on your beliefs and believing in the possibility of it happening will really uh, elevate the process of you manifesting it and it coming into your physical reality back to uh feeling resistance when you're trying to be in the end state when you're trying to be in that knowing of having it or or uh, in that knowing that yes it's coming soon it's mine it's going to be here soon so uh that's happening because deep down you don't believe in the possibility of it taking place right so uh that's where the techniques come into the picture you have all these tools and methods available for you uh that can help you with um getting into the state of mind where you start believing in the possibility that yes your desire is yours and it will soon reflect in your reality so take the help of those techniques that's what they are there for okay if you uh, are uh, good at manifestation in a way that you don't really have to take the help of techniques and you can just get into that knowing state whenever you want to create something you just get into the knowing state and you just are able to go to the end result without really taking the help of techniques then you can do that but if you have a lot of resistance a lot of anxiety then definitely uh, you can take the help of inner conversations i love inner conversations and visualizing those two are uh, my areas of interest you can do scripting you can um, do visual imaginations uh, so these are a few uh, methods common methods but there are a lot of other techniques so do the techniques that resonate with you uh also how much do te- techniques help you in your manifestation journey and which are those situations in which they won't be able to help you 
I have a complete video on that breaking down um, all these points and uh, it's all about techniques so I'll link it um, in the description box below or somewhere over here and you can check it out so take the help of techniques and uh, uh, techniques so what the main work of techniques is to bring you in the state of mind where you start believing in the possibility of having your desire and while you're doing those techniques you are in that state of mind in that state of being where you have your desire or whether or where you have it or at least you know that it's going to come soon so take the help of techniques it will help you in re reducing the resistance reducing your anxiety calming you down and um, help you in coming to that knowing state that knowing feeling that yes it's going to happen so one more thing I want to touch upon here is um, in relation to techniques, whether you should be doing it in the present tense or the future tense. So uh, again, around this, there's a lot of uh, conflicting uh, opinions out there in the manifestation community. A lot of people mention that you have to do it in the present tense so that you know it's already here with you. A lot of people say you can also do it in the future tense that, uh, okay, it's coming soon to me. It's coming very very soon and there's also this uh, set of uh, people who are saying that you can do it as um, something in the past that has already happened and if it has already happened it means you already have it right right now in your current reality it's there so there uh, are all kinds of uh, conflicting opinions out there so as I mentioned before don't get too caught up in these conflicting opinions uh, there are no rules for manifestation there are no rules that you have to do it in present tense then only it will come or future tense then only it will come or if you do it in past tense it will not come there's nothing like that and don't let anyone uh, put those limiting beliefs on you your manifestation process is completely within you you create your own rules so you have to do what resonates with you just like techniques the technique that feels the most good you enjoy doing it do that if you like doing it in the present tense, if you like feeling it that you already have it and that makes you feel good, then do your affirmations or your visual scenes in the present tense or your scripting in the present tense that I have it. If it brings up resistance, if uh, inside you you're not able to believe that you have it in this very moment, it's okay. It doesn't have to feel proper for you to do it in a certain way manifestation will differ from one person to another you do what's best for you so if you feel more comfortable and you feel better when you're doing manifestation in the future tense um, please remove this limiting belief that if i do it in the future tense it will always be in the future tense it will never become a reality that is that is a very very uh, big limiting belief um, i do it in the future tense because it makes me feel good and I am still able to create it um, and if you see a lot of coaches out there um, they will tell you the same thing so don't think that doing in the future will just keep it in the future and you will never get it there's nothing at all like that if you feel too much resistance when you're doing it in the moment do it in the future tense um, I will be getting it soon I know it's going to come soon I know it's happening soon I can feel it I know it I know it's happening soon I know it's coming anytime soon these are the things that make me feel really excited about what's coming. I always do it in the near future tense. Now past tense. Some people like doing it in the past tense to get into that feeling that, okay, I already have it because it already happened one month back or one week back and right now I have it, I'm enjoying it. If that makes you feel good, do it that way. Whatever makes you feel good, there are no rules of you doing it in the present, past or future. Just do your affirmations in a way that uh, affirmations or visual scene in a conversation that uh, somehow you are able to uh, bring yourself into that experience. It does not matter if it already happened, if it's happening right now or if it's coming soon. Okay, so this is all I wanted to discuss in today's video that how this is the number one and only way actually that will um, help you bring your manifestation into your physical reality and everything that comes after this whether it's techniques whether it's your belief system and all other um, minute details are within this one step just become the change you wish to seek 
become that version of you that has your experience or is going to get it soon and that is the way you'll be able to manifest anything anything there, there there's no limits on what you can manifest on what you can create okay so don't forget to like subscribe and share for more engagement if you have any kind of questions around manifestation any concepts any clarities on any terms please feel free to drop uh, your uh, questions in the comment section and i'll pick up those questions and make more short form videos around it